Hey everyone, this is Retro. Guess what? Today we're gonna be talking about something that is really pissing me off, which is the lack of games that Microsoft been providing to us. What's the point of even having Game Pass? There's nothing to play on. There's not, there's not a new title, there's nothing good. And somehow it seems the Xbox, Microsoft really care more about giving us some fancy controllers and what's the point of that? So you have controllers like this, they cost $200, they're all fancy and nice, but what's the point of it? So this year we haven't gotten nothing and that Halo one uh, a few years ago wasn't even the best. What triple A titles had they been bringing to us? It's kind of upsetting to me, and because of that, I ended up buying me a PlayStation 5. I wanted to see what was the difference. I know they had a service. Um, I honestly didn't have a PS, a PlayStation since the PS4. So when the Xbox, Xbox came out, so when the Xbox came out and the PlayStation, I think they kind of released at around the same time. I couldn't find a PlayStation and I was upset of playing the same titles all over and over. And I think at the time, um, PlayStation didn't have it, many games. Plus, I'm pretty sure that I wasn't gonna pay a thousand dollars to get a PlayStation because it was kind of hard to get one and frustrating at the same time. So I got me a Series X. I did like it because I didn't have to buy any games and they were okay titles, like Halo and all this stuff. And they keep promising us. They bought, they bought Activision and Blitzer. So I was very happy. Oh God, we're gonna get a lot of games. It's gonna be amazing. Just $15 a month and I have a bunch of games to play. So I decided to sell my Series X and buy me a Series X because I wanted to have physical this, which is fine. I like it that way. I have a collection of games. So I've been having my PlayStation, I mean, my Xbox for around, I don't know, six to seven months. And I don't have, I had no complaints about the performance. Everything worked fine. But what's the point of having a uh, Game Pass? I go to the library, there's nothing good that, that, that they were playing. Yeah, they had come out with a few titles, mostly indie games. Would I, why do I have to pay to play indie games? And that's my question to you guys. Is that something that make you guys feel comfortable? So, like I said previously, I got me my PlayStation 5. I was very excited because it came with God of War. I didn't like the fact that it was digital like the, the, the God of War game they gave you, but whatever. It was included, I couldn't play with it, streaming or whatever. So I decided to purchase the the pass, the PlayStation offer, the premium pass. I was surprised, because even though they had older games, but they had games I like. Like one of them was Toy Story 2, that's a classic to me. They had the older God of War, pretty nice. They had the Uncharted ones. They had the, even the old school Resident Evil games, uh, at least one of them. That got me pretty excited. So another thing that I did enjoy about my PlayStation was the streaming feature. Yes, I knew you could stream on Xbox, which I had done many, many times, which was fine. You can only link it to Twitch. Why is that? Not versus the PlayStation 5 allow you to have multiple platform platforms for you to stream, which is YouTube and Twi Twitch, which is a good thing. Another feature that got me thinking was the controller. This controller versus this other controller, they're much different. 
Like I gotta say, I like it. People had previously tell me to get this. Like I would love the controller, and now I see what they meant by that. Um, another feature, like if you wanna stream from your Xbox and use a microphone device, you have to get like three, four, five K wires and cables. It doesn't even work for me. Versus the PlayStation 5 allowed you to set up your microphone where your voice will come out of your microphone, USB mic, and you could hear whatever gaming audio from your headphones, headsets. And that was pretty cool, guys. Don't get me wrong, I do love my Xbox, I'm a hardcore Xbox fan. But I guess I'm disappointed in what's been happening for the last year. And now, um, I feel they can do much better. They, they, they acquired this, this activist, but what's the point? That's probably gonna take a uh, few more years. I'm very excited about Sterling. So based on what I have said previously, I think that I'm not gonna be getting Game Pass for a few months until good games start coming out like stuff. And I guess that's it. I do feel that Microsoft has potential of making it big. You can see their sale results, they have been growing, which is pretty good for them. I just feel that we have been neglected. They promised us a bunch of things and we still haven't seen them. Um, PlayStation had their issues too. Like how is it possible that you couldn't find a PlayStation for a very long time? They start, they're starting to come out, which is good. Um, my overall, my overtake is I'd rather have both systems but not everyone could afford having a thousand dollar worth of video game consoles on their living room. Not even me, I had to make sacrifices and stuff to, to get it, which is fine. What I would like to see from them, I would love to see more titles for Microsoft and for PlayStation. If I'm gonna pay a subscription, I hope to see good titles. Otherwise, what I'm paying you to play old games, it doesn't make any sense to me. So that's my opinion, guys. Uh, if you have anything to comment, please feel welcome. If you wanna help our channel grow, please subscribe. If there's any topic you guys want me to talk about it, I would love to talk about them. This is it for now, guys. Thank you so much and see you in the next video.